Does that work for you? Oh, okay. That doesn't work. What? There's one in the way you can't see. Can't see, still can't see. How about now? This one? Okay, get rid of this one. All right, is that better? Oh, okay. Hey, I've hit record. We've got to get on with it. Does that work? All right. Oh, <laughs> hello. And thank you for joining me on a Blooms for You edition here today with Cousin It Maxillaria variabilis. Yeah, we were in a bit of a hurry to get his glasses on. I had already hit record because Cousin It was um, telling me something about the last video, which I, well, now I don't only have a four-legged assistant, but I have a very hairy assistant as well. Cousin It has a keen eye for detail as much as I do, but he noticed something. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. He's already busy looking at Dendrobium hibiki. Do you think this is going to work, Cousin It? You think? You think you got it right? All right, let's have a look. Oh, that works. It does work. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You see, the last time I had to jiggle around with the viewfinder a lot, lot more because Dendrobium hibiki wasn't on the same level as Cousin It. So he said, why don't you just put Dendrobium hibiki on a little pedestal instead of jiggling everybody around and making them seasick? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've been schooled by a Maxillaria variabilis, but you know what? All these suggestions are very helpful as long as they benefit everybody that watches this video, for which I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so much for being here. Dendrobium hibiki, still in bloom. <laughs> I'm losing a few blooms here and there, but this is what I would now call full bloom. Um, that's pretty obvious, no? Full bloom. <laughs> Love this orchid. If you're new to my channel, thank you for being here know that everybody that watches my videos for quite some time now, they're probably going, oh, yawn. We've got Hibiki again. Yes, because all these blooms are there for everybody that watches this video today, tomorrow, in a few months to come, subscribed or not subscribed. The fact that you're here, I am grateful. And these blooms I am dedicating to you. So everybody that's watched my other videos with Hibiki, is probably kind of like going, yep, we know, move on. What else have you got? Well, let's go and have a look-see and we'll get back to Cousin It later, who is telling me that this intro is already far too long-winded. I love me an orchid that goes against the grain of whatever the season is because currently and right now, there really shouldn't be any more summer bloomers in bloom. Hello, it's fall. Well, almost. But look at my little Balanopsis cornucervi variety Chatella day. Look at her go. She is still in bloom and I cannot be happier because she is defying the time of year as much as I am, pushing it to the limit, trying to extend the summer for as long as possible. So she is so welcome. And Carrie Kendall, I wanted to give you this cutie little bloom that has just opened recently to say thank you to you so very much for supporting me on my channel. Maybe if I scoot her back, she won't get hit by the sunlight so much. There we go. Yeah, look at them. Now, as this orchid is maturing, more spikes are coming, more buds will form on the sequential spikes, and she's becoming a real trooper here. Took a while to get her going, to get her to look like this, but I cannot be more happier now because last year, if I had three little chuckle brothers next to each other or chuckle sisters, because she is Lady Chatterley for me, if I had three little chuckle sisters in a row, look at them, they're all grouping themselves up and now I've got four. There is another bud that's going to open up here and I cannot be happier. I still have a little bit of a summer vibe and I can still dedicate summer bloomers even in September, who knew? So Carrie Kendall, my Phalaenopsis cornucervi variety Chatella Day in my collection. She's called Lady Chatterley. She grins at you to thank you so much for your support here on my channel, for subscribing, especially at a time when I was just reaching the milestone of 1K and there you were and pretty much helped me over the line, for which I am super, super grateful. 
I don't have much of a fragrance on her anymore, so that's probably the difference between having a summer bloomer in bloom in summer as opposed to in fall. Quite honestly, I don't care. She smiles at me every time I'm in the blooming alley and that is all I need. And to still, still retain a little bit of that summer vibe, it's a blessing. I'm so, so happy. Carrie Kendall, I hope you're doing well. Your support is so very, very much appreciated. Thank you so very, very much. And my little Lady Chatterley Bloom here. Big smile, grin, she blooms for you. Hello, beautiful. Yes, you too, Anna Morris. This is Breath of Ola Flageralis. So hello to you too, beautiful Anna Morris. Here is my Breath of Ola Flageralis. She blooms for you as a thank you so very, very much for your support here on my channel. And I thought this day would never come because it's taken forever. Everything is so delayed in my collection around my patio. It is incredible. A very mild spring, in my opinion, is to blame. Everything is like four to six weeks behind. But I've got me a bloom I didn't think would even happen. And I can dedicate that to you, Ana Morris, to say thank you so very, very much for your support here on my channel. Single bloom. Oh, but she is so divine. Her elegance, her simplicity. I love her. I have to be super careful with the mount, though, because I've got roots up here that I need to be very, very careful of. All this time trying to grow them and baby them. And I've got more roots coming out over here. So she is a go with the roots, even this late in the year, eventually they are going to stop growing. I also have another growth right here that could possibly, possibly still bloom out. I don't know. And then we have another late starter right here, but I doubt that that one's going to bloom. However, adding to the bulk of the orchid is always a good thing. Big, strong structures for this orchid would hopefully one day we'll get multiple blooms on a spike. But for now, she is an exclusive bloom for you, Ana Morris, to say thank you so very, very much. Also, quick addition. Unfortunately, if I put her in the sun, we're going to wash out these delicate colors. I'm going to try and take a picture of her in the sun because there are markings in the lip that are quite remarkable. Ah, oh, maybe we can see. Oh, yes. You see that? That is what I'm talking about. No picture in the sun. Maybe picture in the sun. But you see that? I love that little detail. Oh, hello, Ant. Also, the story of my season. They were everywhere. Anamores, my brassavola, flagerales, that smells of gorgeous lemon powder at night, she blooms for you to say thank you so very, very much for your support here on my channel. Really, really appreciate it. And I hope that you are doing well in your part of the world. Lori Mortimer, Lori Mortimer. Well, um, not the person I'm dedicating these two blooms to, but I had to say it twice because I have two blooms of Dendrobium Lori Mortimer. And I want to say thank you to Alley Cat Green Eyes very, very much for your support here on my channel with my two Lori Mortimer blooms. I am very surprised I even have blooms considering what this orchid has been through, but here they are, they're looking gorgeous. Back in the day, she was bought as a Dendrobium Samurai. Lo and behold, she is not. Back in the day when I started my channel, there was a real crusade with regards to naming and relabeling my orchids because I got many, many mislabeled orchids back in the day. However, despite the fact I would never have chosen this orchid for my collection, there is a reason that she's here and I'm quite happy to have her. I almost did her in, almost but she's doing well, better than she did four months ago, that's for sure. Her new growth is extending beautifully. 
and we have roots in the pot and she is now getting fertilized again and all the canes are nice and chubby as per how they should look even though they are the older canes. Happy days, Lori Mortimer is here to stay. Probably in 2022, I'm going to have to up-pot her because this was a rescue mission, which we succeeded in, but up-pot we must because she's going to be a little bit too big too quickly in this little pot. So, alley cat, green eyes, an orchid that was initially mislabeled, bought as something else. I'm still looking for a samurai. Can't have my orchids as ninja orchids and then not have a samurai in the collection. I mean, that doesn't make sense, does it? But still, for the time being, this Lori Mortimer, usually she has a little fragrance to her, which this year I am not detecting. But hey, you know what? She has been through the ringer. So the fact that she is not fragrant, um, hardly surprising. The fact that she's blooming, very surprising. But it really gives me the opportunity to dedicate these gorgeous, gorgeous blooms to you, Alley Cat Green Eyes. I mean, look at this. How? Huh? All the way in there and then it gets green. Fantastic almost something bulbophyllum like <laughs> with that jiggly lip absolutely beautiful yeah normally she has a floral fragrance not very intense not very strong but not this year and let me get up a little bit because the angle of the sun is washing the colors out so while we still have her outdoors let's take advantage a little bit of light and shadow a bit of a shadow so we can see them better. Alley Cat Green Eyes, thank you so very much for supporting me here on Ninja Orchids with your views and with your comments. I appreciate it very, very much. A little bit of a different dedication today, needs must, and I missed the mark. I want to compare two Rapiculus Lelias next to each other that are completely different in their structure and the way the plants are, but you will see how similar the blooms are. And let's see if I can get that done. Because Tally Girl, I have my Lelia Regentii. This is Lelia Regentii. And I have another one in the sidelines that I want to dedicate to you to say thank you so, so much for your support here on my channel. Very, very much appreciated. Now you can see that the Lelia Regentii is very, very small. Not a big bloom, but so cute. I am so pleased that this orchid has come to this point because she was a reluctant root grower from jump. She wanted to grow roots and then they always failed. And I think I got it right now. And she's a happy, happy little camper because first time bloom for me on this piece of my Lelia Regentii, and you can see I've got a second spike with two more buds coming in the back there. Amazing, very, very happy to have gotten her to this point, and these two blooms are there for you as a thank you, Tally Girl, for supporting my channel at a time that it was critical, and you helped get me over the 1,000 subscriber mark. Always will appreciate that. Thank you so very, very much. And I am very sorry about the breeze, but it does give the little blooms a charm as they are bopping around in it. Gosh, I love the little yellow lip. Now, let me introduce the second little Rapiculus Lelia that I would like to dedicate to you because you've got Regentii here on the right, and then you've got Regina on the left. Okay, looks pretty bad from this angle. So what I'm going to do is take Regentii away. But seeing as they're both royalty, <laughs> adhering to royalty, I thought, well, you know what? I missed the mark because clearly you can see I have a beautiful spike here with three blooms. Well, well, well. These blooms are not long lasting at all. Now this one did bloom for me last year but I did not remember that the blooms only last three days. So that was a bummer and I missed the mark. But look at these little blooms, at least the one that we've got left. Doesn't that look exactly like the Regentii? 
I know it is very difficult on camera to tell the difference, but I will do my best to do so because there is a difference. This one has tiny little blushes of something reddish, pinkish on the sepals. Not so obvious here on the petal, but you know, there's little something. And the lip is not as deep yellow, which is kind of ridiculous because yes, there is a difference in the color of the lip because I was thinking, what if I have two of the same orchid? And I don't, look at her. There's a growth about to bloom. There's another growth with four blooms. And I'm gonna be very, very fast in the viewfinder when they bloom out. But look, the orchids look totally different. And that has nothing to do with where their light is. And that is why I find these little ones so remarkable. You think you've got exactly the same plant if you just go by the blooms, but you don't. Because this lip here is much more yellow than this lip right here, which is a little bit more buttery. It's not as obvious. I'm hoping that this comes across on camera because clearly we have another opportunity to do a comparison when the Regentii blooms back here and the Regina blooms over here. I hope that this wasn't boring to you, Tally Girl, or anybody else that has watched, but having had these now almost two years and coming into bloom at the same time, this to me is a study in itself because I normally grow these little guys because of their chubby structures. I don't grow them for the blooms because there's, you know, if you have two or three days of blooms, you need to find a lot of pleasure in growing them because of the little structures if the blooms only last two or three days. But still, I love them, I adore them. They are not fragrant tally girl, but I hope that you enjoy these three little blooms that I want to dedicate to you from my Regentii and my Regina Everything is very, very royal. They're little royal highnesses. Thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it, Tally Girl. Selogeny Lime Bay, bloom number six, like you've never seen her before, but we are going to film her today anyway. Not only because she's fresh and beautiful and in her prime condition, and I want to say thank you so much to Kimmy for joining me here on my channel for your support. But also I want to be able to now showcase how this bloom actually adapts color-wise to its environment. Because something very unfortunate is happening today. While some of us were still tucked up in bed, some people had to be evacuated from their homes because of massive, massive fires in the mountains behind my property. So the whole sky is yellow. The sun is coming out like a mustard yellow. Everything is covered in ash. Not so bad here, but if you see something floating by the viewfinder, you will know that that is not snow, that is ash coming over. Thank goodness it's not so windy down here. So nothing is blowing in on the patio. But as you can see now, when the sun comes out from behind the cloud, the color of the Sologeny bloom also changes a little bit. And this is something I observe very, very often while I have her in my care and I can observe her from a day-to-day -day basis. She takes on the characteristics of the outdoors because of how translucent her petals and sepals are. So she looks like she's going yellow, but she picks up the light as it reflects off her and it changes what she looks like. Don't get me wrong, I love my Lime Bay to be this green, beautiful, well, named Lime Bay for a reason, with the contrasting, you know, darker Usitana lip and column with the orange. I do like that contrast be more on the green side, but it is really good to see how she absorbs the light and that is what you see based on the ambient light and what is going on. The blooms look at their prime if there is a cloud covered day but not because of any fires going on but a cloudy day that is when they will reflect pretty much nothing of light as such and they will show their lime color. 
But this, I thought, is very, very interesting, and that is why I'm not going to wait another day. I know it's a sad situation, what is going on behind us, and uh, they're fighting hard to make sure that it stays behind us and doesn't come any closer. But to be able to show this bloom in a different characteristic, I thought, I'm going to take advantage of these circumstances and show the bloom off today because it would be a very, very difficult characteristic to describe and show in any future videos if I were to talk about it. So here we are, Kimmy, my Sologny Lime Bay with a little bit different features, a little bit different visuals, but beautiful and impressive nonetheless. And once again, she blooms for you to say thank you so very, very much for your support here on my channel. And now I'm going to take her inside because I really don't want any ashes falling on her leaves. <laughs> thank you, Kimmy, so very, very much. Pro Catavola, Golden Peacock. I am proud to say there has one more bloom on the spike than I'm normally accustomed to. So I have seven blooms, very, very proud, to dedicate to Tree SA or Tree Sa. Could be Tree South Africa or South America, whatever. Tree SA and Tatiana Spiridonova. Tatiana, I took your name and I put it into Google Translate and I hope that you don't mind, but my Russian is as limited as Nastrovie da Babushka i Ninuchka. That's it. I know that I was named Nina after Ninuchka, but other than that, that is my Russian. So Tatiana Spiridonova, know that I thank you so much for being on my channel and that I took it from Google Translate. And I really, really hope that it is correct. I apologize that I cannot speak in Russian to you to say thank you very, very much. And tree, South Africa, South America, Sa, or SA, either way, I don't know. You also have subscribed to my channel and I want to say thank you to you too for the support here. Golden Peacock, what can I say? Totally pleased, happy days. She looks amazing, she is gorgeous. She is not fragrant, but she is fiery and very, very striking in color this time around. Super pleased after the massive, massive cleanup, repot division and cut that she had to deal with early in the growing season of 2021 and still she could give me this spike her next growth is maturing here and i was thinking i had a third growth somewhere else but now oh there it is and i'll be darned i'll be darned there is a sheath in there too do we have one in here three nope we don't wait and see what happens there for the time being check this out hmm Aren't these blooms just precious? Love how they are so flat. Again, this time around, they just cascade forward so beautifully. Missed her, missed her. But well, we're back in the rhythm of the golden peacock. And I'm sure that for several months now, there'll be a succession of this spike and then eventually the next spike that we can enjoy her. So, Trisa and Tatiana Spiridonova, thank you, both of you for being here on my channel, for supporting me, watching my videos and leaving comments. Your time is always so appreciated and I hope that both of you are doing well in your part of the world. There we go. Cousin It is happy. He's had a much better visual throughout this whole episode. Himbiki, I don't know whether happy or not, the blooms speak for themselves, but it wasn't jiggled around so much, except that what is it now? Right. He is moaning about the fact that all the leaves are dusty. Yes, all my leaves are dusty because I grow outdoors. He's also moaning about the fact that his leaves are dusty. And I'm like, look at the size of you. How long do you think it's going to take me to groom you? And you live outdoors, as does Hibiki, for most of the year. But we are going to be expecting some rain. Yes, cousin it. Surprise. Sometimes there is method in my madness and you will get all washed and clean in the coming days. Hopefully, if the forecast is correct, we will be getting inundated with rain, which is amazing. 
that would be hopefully starting Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And we shall see. It is still warm enough. Everybody can be outside. So the massive orchid shuffle will be a go-go one more time, maybe twice. We shall have to wait and see. Your time, however, is very much appreciated. The fact that you're still here listening also really appreciated. I hope that you enjoyed this episode and I really, really want to wish you a wonderful day. And if you have never commented or you haven't subscribed, make yourself known in the comments below that you are here and I can add you to the name of the Blooms For You series. And eventually there'll be something with your name on it. Please take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Bye.